this week on In Building Design, we're talking Artipizo 3D Tile. See how with just a stroke of a brush or an angle of a light, you can create a beautiful accent wall for your home's interior. And stick around to find out why Ken thinks grout is pretentious. It's all coming your way now. Welcome back to In Building Design. I'm Rob McKay, and with me as always is our perennial new guy, Ken. Hey, hey. So a lot of the products we talk about on the show are exterior based and focused, but you gotta remember for every outside, there's an inside. Here to talk about beautifying the inside of your home is one of Instone's favorite customer service reps, Sam Espino. Hey guys. Hey, thanks for joining us. We've got a little tradition on this show. We like to start off every episode with our uh, guests telling us a little bit about themselves, but there's a condition. Can you do it in 15 seconds or less? I can try. Put it on the mm. clock. Go. So I'm customer service at Instone. I've been here for about two years. Um, some of my favorite hobbies include biking, uh, roller skating, hiking, I guess. And I'm also a dog mom to three dogs and avid video gamer. <laughs> There it is, wow. there it is, right there it is. Within the 15 right, right in the 15 seconds. Nice job. That was Thank you. Nice job. And part of our tradition is we get rewarded for, uh, you know, Heck your yeah. work there. A nice there little we... beer. Look at that. Awesome. Pretty awesome. Ken, you not getting one? No. No? He's still new. Maybe next year. So, Sam, you're here to talk to us today about Artipizo. Yep. You're a bit of our uh, resident expert on that product, right? You've been out selling it, uh, handling questions about it. Specifically, you were recently at uh, the Neocon yeah. convention, right? Yeah, that was, um, that was a lot of fun. What kind of uh, attendees did you see at that show? Neocon specifically more for interior designers, architects, anyone that's going to be involved in the planning process. Specifically, we're looking at indoor applications. Gotcha. So people that this product would be right in their wheelhouse. So Correct. when you're there you know, at a show like that, you get a lot of questions like, what's it made of? So let's kind of go through that. Easiest way to answer that is it's a 3D concrete tile. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Do you say 3D? Like, is it is it is that the title of it? Artipizo 3D. Yeah, you have to say the 3D part. Oh, that's very 80s. That's yeah. very 80s. We're taking a bath. How, how are you going to know it's 3D if you don't say it's 3D? How are you going to know it's 3D if you're not wearing the glasses? Oh, good oh point. my God. We should put a set of. You should have worn glasses box. at Neocon. <laughs> All right, that's too late for that now. All right. Okay. Next year. Yeah. So it's a lightweight concrete, right? It is. Yep, lightweight. So it doesn't require a lot of, you know. No, Substance to there's hold no the wall. anchoring, nothing you needed. You just put it up just like you would regular tile. Okay, so you've had some experience in putting it up yourself, right? Yes, yeah. I <laughs> have never done anything construction related or home related projects. Uh, so putting it up was definitely a, a fun project for sure. Super easy to put up though, it, going into it, not knowing anything about what I was doing actually turned out pretty well. Yeah, and I, I think with like any job, there's some steps when you first start, you know, doing yeah. it, making sure that you're level and kind of getting the lay of the land, how you're gonna cut the pieces yeah. and lay them out. But after you get that figured out, yeah. you're you on a roll. Yeah, right? with the pattern the way it is, is, it's easy to not get crooked with it. You just follow the way it goes. That's right. And uh, the install you used, what kind of product to adhere to the wall? We did a thin set mortar with it, which okay. was super quick. Um, what was nice about that is that it didn't dry right away, so we had some wiggle room as we were putting up the different pieces so that way if something for some reason didn't fit where it should have sure you can move the pieces around a little bit as you're going do you have to you don't have to use spacers though for anything like that right see no. I spacers look at so you me. spacers he's, he's getting more and more yeah. uh, knowledgeable but I didn't know because I mean I'm looking at the I'm looking at the sample back there and I guess it could be like a, a millimeter spacer it could yeah. be. yeah no do they you... just go butt to butt there's no grout no mortar okay no grout the grout. I know. Everybody grout. likes the grout, don't I hate, they? I hate grout. No. The worst part about grout is the cleanup afterwards because you put it on there and you have to clean up, but you can't clean up right away. You no. have to wait a certain amount of time, but not too long. Like anything that is that pretentious, no thanks. Too much for you? Yeah, so I'm on board with our pizza. Very specific. So grouting tile is pretentious. Now. Grouting tile is pretentious. Got I'm it. sorry to all of you who do it for a living. That means you just have to buy Artipizo, really. Yeah, exactly. Right. I like that. But you can come do it for me, and I'll pay you to do it, and then I don't have it. So. Wow, well, I'm just going to have to walk out right out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> but 
bottom line, you know, with a little bit of help, you can get a job done oh, in for a sure. day. Yeah. Right? yeah. So the specifiers you're talking about, probably more commercial focus, right? What kind of application were they looking to use Artipizo? Yeah. So Artipizo, um, we're really seeing it used more in commercial settings, like you said, uh, hotels, lobbies for the hotels, uh, conference rooms is a big one. It's a nice, good background. Um, in fact, Kevin's office is where we did it. And for him on all of his video calls, having that in the background is just a really great background for so like a yeah, any good conversation calls. starter. Yeah, exactly. Do people stuff. ask him about it? I mean, all the time. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. They're like, what's that weird thing behind you? Yeah. <laughs> what's that weird thing behind you? I want it. You know, in the days of Zoom calls and webinars, like having a cool background in For your sure. office yeah. is yeah. really cool. It does set them apart. People always ask, hey, what is that? But if you want to do it in your own home, it's a great way to accent a dining room, yeah. uh, a bedroom, you know. Living room, pretty much anywhere. anywhere. Wait, okay, would you put this, sorry, I'm, I'm just like so many questions about this. <laughs> would, could you put this around a fireplace or would you not want to do that? Actually, you can. We've had a few people really? use them as fireplace it's, surrounds. It's like safe for that? Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Just make sure, you know, you're installing it, um, the product around the fireplace as the fireplace manufacturer would suggest in the installation guide. Mm -hmm. If you follow those rules, then, then you're definitely awesome. safe. Awesome. Yeah. So a ton of different options. You can do it yourself. Yep. If you want a professional to do that, not a problem. I mean, really, I think what's less is kind of the part about customizing yeah, this, right? Yeah. Super customizable product. I mean, because right now it's just white. Oh yeah, I just assumed that it was always white. The nice thing about that is, is it you can put it up on the wall the way it is, mm -hmm. or it can be the base to paint it and mm -hmm. create your own color and look to match your exact design. Um, oh. We've got some pieces here. Are you guys? I mean, we can try painting it. Do you wanna? You wanna try painting yeah. it? Yeah. All right. You wanna try painting? Sure. It? You yep. sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we'll bring some pieces out here and let's paint. There's a couple different ways that you can apply paint to the tile. Uh, we recommend if you've got access to a paint sprayer, that'll give you the best look. Nice and smooth and consistent. But there's other ways you can get this done. Ken's going to show us how to do this on a, with a roller, and Sam's going to use a brush. Both are great ways, give you a little bit of different texture you know, and feel. And uh, you, can you guys demonstrate how that w would work? Sure. So this is just a basic interior latex paint, nothing fancy. Uh, as you can see, it kind of covers, goes on there very nice and smooth. Look at you, you're like a... Regular old. I told you I could. I told you painter. I could paint. I could do one thing. I can paint. Yep. And with a roller, um, depending on the nap of the roller. So if there's a, if you've got a rough roller, you're going to get a little bit more uh, texture like that. Yeah. If you've got a smoother one, it, it should go smoother. You know, you can see once it's dried. So you got a little bit of, you know, texture to it. But I think a full wall of this, it's still going to look great. As you can see with this, this brush uh, technique over here. Um, you're going to have some of that contour, and if you kind of look here, I mean, that, especially on some of our um, rougher textured tiles like uh, Laguna, as an example, I bet you some of this roller and even brush, uh, you know, marks would probably not even be noticeable. But as always, if you've got access to a sprayer, I mean, if you want a nice, consistent, I mean, smooth look, gosh, I mean, that's it right I there. Do. I just like, I like the smooth look. Yeah, wish, it looks very nice. Wish that one was mine. But if you don't want to paint and you still want to, you know, kind of show off the tile, yeah. Um, what can we do? Uh, so one of the things you can do is play with light for these. Ooh, let's play with let's light. Let's play with light. Let's that's be awesome. Painters of light. Oh, look at that. Wow. So because it's a 3D tile, what happens is your light source plays off the different textures. Look at that. He's got his 3D I can see glasses it. on. I can see it. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, I can oh. still see it. Magic. <laughs> see, that's why. Well, He's the new guy still. He is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can accent with with the white light kind of placing it. Yeah. You can have fun with it, right? Yeah. You don't necessarily have to use white light. Actually, at NeoCon, um, for our displays, we actually set them up with Ooh, different color lighting. Wow. So LED lights are mm -hmm. pretty pretty awesome, yeah. right? They're low cost. You can do a bunch of different things with them. You want to add color to it. You want to have fun. You're going to have a party at yep. the house. We just painted that for like two minutes. Yeah. This is instant. So there are a lot of great options to finish in off Artipizo in your home, right? So you can paint it a couple different ways. Yep. You can play with regular white lighting. You can add LED lights. Yep. And quite frankly, no matter how you do it, you're going to have a great, awesome looking feature wall that's going to be the envy of every guest that comes to your home. I think it's really awesome. Oh, huh. oh well, you know what? That sound makes me feel good because She's been in the shop all week, and thanks to our extended, extended warranty, our fax machine is back in action just in time for Hot Off the Fax. Hey, 
<laughs> hey, look at that. I love it. Hot off the fax. <clears throat> I didn't know people still use the fax. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They do. They do. They use ours. <laughs> and why not? How else are they going to get questions to us? Okay. And man, it, it something is, about like warm yeah, favorite like is so book. nice. All right, I'm, I'm going to stop getting excited. Question number one comes from Beverly in Brinny Breezes, Florida. Love it. Great in the wintertime. Try saying that 10 times fast. Well, I might, but uh, we'll save that for afterwards. Um, but Beverly wants to know, can I mix and match profiles? Great yeah. question, right? Yeah, no, you actually can. So Artipizo has eight different profiles that you can choose from. A lot of them you can mix and match. Sure, yeah, I mean, if you want, I mean, kind of the sky is the limit, yeah, right? Really. If you're creative, you got a, that artistic uh, mindset, you can kind of cut and weave these to kind of give yourself a, well, yeah. a cool picture. I was gonna say, because you can't really, like, how would you how would you mix and match this with with even even the willow over there. Certain profiles are gonna mix a little bit easier. Straight That's, out of the box. Yeah, straight out of the box. I have a question that mm. just came to my mind about this for cutting tile. Uh -huh. When I've cut tile before, I use a wet saw. Mm -hmm. What do you use to cut artipizo? Same thing. You can use a you wet saw, yep. even though it's, okay. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably the preferred way to do it, and it keeps dust down and makes a nice smooth cut. Nice easy yeah. finish. Okay. Right. Cool. Thanks Beverly, appreciate it. Can you get rid of that for me? I sure can. All right, boom, gone. <clears throat> Question number two comes from Dan in Traverse City, Michigan. I mean, that's the that's a winter wonderland. It's got a nice port. I love this. Even in like July, it's a winter it's, wonderland. It, well, yeah. Yeah, 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 sometimes. So Dan wants to know, what can I use to clean Artipizo tile? So Artipizo is really easy to keep clean. Just a mild dish detergent is what you can use on them. Gosh. Nothing mm. abrasive, nothing harsh. Okay, yeah. What, tell me how I could screw it up. That's, I think what people really want to know when they hear that question is what's going to really do the most damage? Just give me one example of something. What is that? that like a, a Brexo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a Brillo pad, like yeah. something Brillo? Rough. Oh, a yeah. Yeah. If you're filling a pump sprayer full of acid just yeah. to kind of oh, wash it down. absolutely not, yeah. Like, no, <laughs> please don't do that. Like, just could... soap, dish, soap, and a uh, microfiber. Okay. Okay. We're not creating Batman villains here today. No, we're not. So no we're acid. Not. No Thanks, acid. Dan. Appreciate okay. it. You got it, Dan. All right. Third question, looks like our last one. Um, Ken in Alsip, Illinois um, uh, asks, what color is your hair and what color are you thinking of doing next? I'm guessing that's for you and not for me. I mean. You can answer too, Rob, because uh, I can't see color. <laughs> uh, currently it's magenta. Next color we're thinking of doing is like a peachy orange. All right, well. That's all we've got. Can you can you handle that for me? Sure can. Great sure questions. Can. Thanks to everybody, including Ken. And all right, remember, if you have questions for us, you can fax them to us at 708-371-0686, and maybe yours can be the next question on Hot Off the Fax. All right, we have one more thing before we let you go. Here on In Building Design, we try to end each show by asking our guest a question. One thing that hopefully gets you thinking and gets the rest of us thinking. So this one's just for you. Okay. What is something that you do differently than most people? I'm left-handed, so I do everything differently than everyone. <laughs> and if we were Sherlock Holmes, we would have noticed. Oh. She's been holding the beer the whole time. God, it was so The whole cool. time. Did you see I was painting with my left hand? Well, what else, what else makes left-handed difficult? Everything. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Name the, one other thing. The world is made for right-handed people. Well, there we are the majority. Yeah. 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 Um, can openers. Can openers. Chainsaws. Why do? Why do? I'm sorry. We're gonna get off in a tangent. Chainsaws. <laughs> why? Why do left-handed people have such a hard time with scissors? Because Aren't scissors, you know, like. No. You go through one side or you go to the other. No. 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 They're made for right-handed people. I love that the answer is just no. Yeah. <laughs> Not. You're wrong. Wow. <laughs> Who knew we'd learn so much about <laughs> left-handed people? <laughs> hey, Sam, I want to thank you for being here. Thanks, I really guys. appreciate it. It was really exciting to kind of learn more about Art of Piece of Tiles, ways to finish them off and kind of highlight it and make your home, you know, have a little bit of flair and kind of feature a room in, in your home. So um, I want to thank you for being here. Thank Again, you. cheers. Appreciate it. And that's it for us. We hope to see you next time on In Building Design.